Click on the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon to not miss any of our brand new videos. Hello YouTube, Pallav here and this is the Techno Camon Eye and I'm sorry for bringing this review uh, very late and I'm actually sorry for not being in the um, YouTube scene for a couple of weeks now. Um, some personal commitment but now I'm back and probably I'll be able to give you regular videos from now on. So in this particular video, you're going to do a full review of this device. Now this actually came some time ago. We have been using this but I haven't been able to make a video of this one right now but hopefully you'll file this useful nonetheless so we'll start with the unboxing but before that quickly show you the box so that's the camon eye you can see it's a full uh, vision display techno camon eye infinite infinity display is what they call it 3 gb 32 gb you have 100 day replacement one time screen replacement one month extended warranty and all under 9000 some of the quick specs over here you see 5.65 uh inch centimeter sorry full vision display 13 mp front camera 13 mp back camera this one has a quad flash i'll show you while i was showing you the hardware 3 gb 32 gb um there are no other variants calling gorilla glass protection that's quite cool at this price point 4g 3050 mh battery hd plus resolution so that battery should last you quite long and whatever the price maybe but you'll get it for eight triple nine it's actually written nine triple nine you can see out there so once you open the box on top you have the phone and we have what i think they call it navy blue or something but this one is beautiful beautiful color we'll come back to that in just a bit you get the user manual you get the 12 plus one month warranty 13 months warranty and then you also get a quite not very tough but quite flexible transparent tpu back cover a 1.2 ampere wall charger 1.2 ampere is quite low output these days you also have the micro usb cable right there and then we also have a pair of earphones and they look good actually and it's quite rare for uh, someone to get a earphone at this price point you also get extra earbuds that's about the content of the box earphones are really a nice goodie that is the camera let's take this thing off let's also take this plastic off right there and you get a screen guard free which is nice it's a screen guard only i don't think it's a um, tempered glass this place is nice the back it's nice matte finish and metallic finish although i think this is plastic but this blue color is exquisite looks very beautiful and that's what is the usb of this device that i told you in the beginning quad led flash if you can see very closely you'll see there are four led flash plus your 13 mp camera kind of just about protruding out not much 5.65 inch screen hd plus resolution 13 mp camera here you have an led flash so both front and the back you have led flashes uh, earpiece and sensors and stuff your shortcut key is going to be there then that's the sim card and micro sd card slot this is another good thing you get a dedicated space for two sim two nano sim plus one micro sd card so that micro sd card actually supports up to 128 gb additional to 32 gb that's on board power button volume rocker all these are plastic 3.5 mm jack you have your micro usb port the mouthpiece and the speaker fingerprint sensor and the techno logo overall very sleek looking phone quite light as well 3050 mh battery should be quite decent the antenna lines and all kind of very iphone copy legs but still it's good it's a beautiful looking phone now let's check out how fast the fingerprint of this baby and there you go so it's quite fast and uh, you do not need to first switch on the screen to unlock even though your screen is in sleep mode you can straight away go to the home screen I like the display uh, it's a full vision display hd plus resolution that's not a problem for me uh, at no point of time you'll see any pixelation uh, it's adequately bright although the viewing angles are not supreme but when you see the color card this is really encouraging i can clearly see the difference between the color palettes here and the color palettes here they are very close colors maybe you cannot see that through my video camera but with naked eyes I can see that this display can make out the difference so that's good and when you also see from here you can see it's a decent uh, viewing angle i have my studio lights there so obviously you'll have some amount of reflection 
but yeah at this price point i think one of the good one of the better displays out there and some nice touch here and there uh, your android 7.0 interface and then they have their own skin on top so those are some of the apps nothing much here long press to add uh, various stuffs you can also go like this to add stuffs to your home screen and then these are apps so let's quickly go to the settings and you can see an about phone android 7.0 that's the device info high os version 3.2 that's their name of that skin and what else storage so out of you see ram uh, 3gb rams available is 2.07 uh, gb which is 30 percent is used so that's good internal storage 36 percent is used then what else those apps and fingerprint high account and whatnot the those are the apps you get the typical google android apps there your social apps some of those third party apps you can always go ahead and uninstall those and then in-house tools i don't see fm radio by the way which is generally called oh, this one cool this gigans 4 is my own uh, testing app what i generally felt is the ui has a persistent lag mainly due to that entry level uh, chipset for average daily uses probably you'd not feel that lag but if you're doing heavy duty stuff like you're using the gps playing games or even you know um shuffling between gallery and cameras and those kind of stuff which take a lot of cpu uh, space then you will see uh, noticeable lag that is the 13 mp back camera it's quite fast although not the fastest you can keep pressing here and to click up to 20 shots good that's video which cut the sensor to some part and then you have your beauty mode and yeah whilst well, you have your panorama here you have hdr plus your flash a lot of flash options that's the continuous flash flash switch off that's the aspect ratio you see so you can quickly go to the instagram like photos and then you also have some shooting modes watermark only and there some of the filters that's the front camera there which is good again 13 mp front camera good thing is that this one also has an led flash so you can go to this and there you see that's wide angle uh, so basically you just need to go like this or maybe when you're doing this can go like this to take more people into your shot yeah so we tested the image and a video samples they are fine they're obviously they're not gonna win any award but then uh, both the cameras are decent above average the photos are generally good in color and the processing is good although not totally detailed mind you saturation uh, at some color palette like green or blue sometimes goes over the board uh, but that's i think i think that's not too uncommon to see at this price range the videos are slightly on the softer side um, not so much on the center but when you go to the side you see softer under low light though both the cameras shows quite a bit of noise The sound is really loud but very screechy. The bass is low, the treble is kind of overboard. Thanks to the beautiful screen, the video looks great. The sound is same like the other audio. It's screechy. The bass is absent. Um, the surround sound, you know, the vocal is nice. So at least you will hear the vocal clearly. But then the bass is sincerely missing. We did some benchmark testing on this, and it scores below average, much below average, really, by today's standards. So forty-two thousand in Antutu, 
and then gig band score a uh, very modest score 582 and 1629 what not 1087 165 only in 3d mark um, you see it only says your score is better than three percent devices on so the benchmark score is below average however the battery score is almost a similar below average i would say triple to five is yeah the below average score that i told you just now so it gave us about seven just over seven hours seven hours 16 minutes so 3050 mh battery and full uh, vision display so yeah the display takes a lot of space but then it also has an hd resolution only hd plus that is so it could have done better there this is decent but this is not mind-blowing but this one is cool you see the uh, battery usage is totally um, expected and totally in a straight line which means at no percentage it will suddenly drop or it takes more time so the battery goes off expectedly so at 10 percent you know uh, approximately how much time you're left with with the battery so that's a good thing we played some game on this one like Mortal Kombat 5 or Asphalt 8 or even Godfire it lags a tad bit uh, on all of those games to a various degree not so much as to irritate you or stop your game but that lag at times was noticeable so then guys that was the full review of the new techno camon i the camera was the main focus and it does a decent job i would say for a price point i love the display over here i love the um the skin and how it works everything what i do not like that much is probably the audio output and the battery life and that uh, slight lag on the ui that's mainly due to that entry level processor but the power probably could have been slightly more Still, at this price point, 9000 this could add a good proposition. There are a lot of phones coming with a full vision display at this price point, but 13 plus 13 MP camera plus this quad LED is something new with this phone. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, ask anything related to this, and we'll try to answer them all. And please subscribe to our channel and share this video to share the love. You can click on the icon here to subscribe to our channel. Till the next video, ciao.